I recently participated in a gap year fair. This is sort of like a college fair, but instead of colleges being represented, they were all different programs that fill the gap between high school and college for students who want to do something a little different, who want to do some community service, travel, um, something, uh, something else, something different besides just the academic grind. And there were a lot of really cool programs, but there was one, given my background, that really just really excited me. I was ready to drop everything and just say, sign me up. Um, really well organized, very thoughtful organization of, of uh, how this thing was uh, designed as a learning program. And I met with the co-founder and executive director and just asked him a few questions about it. So um, I'll let him tell you about his program. My name is Chris Stockich and I'm the founder of Thinking Beyond Borders. We are an eight-month educational program where we take students around the world to study global development issues from social, political, and economic perspectives. So this is for the whole year? Yes, it's for the whole year, and it's specifically designed so that we study clean water issues in Ecuador for five weeks, public education in China for five weeks, sustainable agriculture in India for five weeks, and the AIDS epidemic in public health in South Africa for five weeks. The last six weeks of the program, we bring students to the United States to work with the policymakers who are making decisions within this arena at the World Bank, the International Monetary Fund, Homeland Security, the Center for Economic Development, and also an assortment of grassroots organizations. So Chris, one of the things that's different seems to me about your program is that you actually prescribe what everybody's going to be learning, that you don't give them a lot of choice, you tell them this is what we're doing, if it's, if it's China, it must be this topic. So why, why would you do that? Why would you like, limit what kids can do? Um, our program was designed by, by teachers, college professors, high school headmasters, and, and I'm one of the founders as well. And, and really, I worked in international service for four years, and it got to the point where we continually built one house at a time for one family and one village. And one of our founders, Robin Pendole, who's an educator at heart, came up to us, came up to me and said, to truly create change, you need to start studying why global poverty exists, why there's a lack of clean water all over the world, why epidemics like the AIDS epidemic could drastically be cut down but isn't. We need to start looking at the root causes of these problems and not just continually put band-aids on them, which is a participant might make, make you feel good to go and paint the school and things like that. But to truly create social change that's needed in this world, you need to figure out how and why that problems exist, and then attempt to come up with long-lasting sustainable solutions to those problems. And why is a gap year, sort of between high school and college, why is this the ideal time to do that? Um, in our opinion, we only take gap year students specifically because they have an opportunity to learn and gain a, a foundational understanding of how the world works before they go to college so that those four years in college end up being 10 years worth of experience. They, they, they pick the classes they want to go to. They know what they want to do. They're motivated. They understand that, that, um, the interplay between Africa and Asia and South America and, and economically and different political systems. And they, they understand how the world works before they go to college.